Hello, my name is Christoph Schwartz. Uh, let me explain something on alternate states and list boxes. To do so, let me change my local client into English. You can do that, by the way, by adding slash language slash en to the URL of uh, the app. And let's have a look on what's going on. If you add a filter pane, there is something you should know. If you put a filter pane here and add a dimension, it's actually two objects in one place. That is because you can add multiple dimensions and each of which is a, an object on its own and the frame into which it is uh, put is another object. So it's layers of object. The outer layer, which is of type uh, filter pane, can hardly be seen because it's overlaid by the uh, inner objects and the inner objects are two list boxes. Just look at them, both have got a different ID and you can only set a state to a list box, not to the filter pane as a such. Um, when I coded this application or this extension, now you can see the filter pane by the way, what I did is if you happen to choose the filter as a such uh, I can do that only if I leave the edit mode. So if I take this and set a certain state, look at this, it is going into the child objects of the filter pane. So of each into each individual list box. However, you don't see it, so it appears first as if it had not worked. But the point is, by re resizing it and double checking it, you will see that both list boxes have successfully be assigned into the state. However, its parent object, which is just a frame with no data, is not assigned to any state and cannot be assigned to any state. That's why um, it's a little bit confusing in a collapsed uh, list box that it appears not to be assigned to a state when in reality it is assigned to a state. So thanks for watching.